Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Today I'm going to be continuing the build of the Unix. In this episode, I'm done with the outline and I'm going to continue filling in the outline with basic hull. I'm not going to do the wedges now. The wedges are going to be for later because uh, wedges usually are done when you've actually placed all the hull blocks in, in, that, in, my, in my builds, that is. So as you see here, I'm just filling in all the gaps with hull, placing them right all over the place, just making it, just putting in the hull just to make everything just look good. And uh, I don't really um, uh, like just try, like when you use the build the outlines and you think oh this look good but then when you place the hole it looks really plain and that's what it did in this case so um, I just try to think like when I'm done with this you see here I'm a little bit unsatisfied with it and I'm just yeah I'm going and I'm just looking around <laughs> being a bit paranoid thinking wow what have I done so then I just try to put the symmetry here. XY plan thing that's what it's called, and um, I just uh, try attempt to put the arc down. Then, I, then I first of all just cover the engines before I actually start working on the arc. So uh, just filling in the gaps with hull, 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 hull everywhere. Hull. My signature colors are blue and white. That's why I'm using them. Uh, many people's colors are like gray and black, and purple and blue, etc. But mine are blue and white. So anyway, I'm going to just fill it in, can you fill it in? Symmetry makes everything so much easier. It's like just four to two times less work or four times less work, like just so much easier. Okay, can you place it in here? And we're just filling more in here. It's the uh, one thing I noticed is that the two parts of this engine they didn't become the same, so it's like I'm whizzing about just to try and fix it. Because it did not become exactly the same. Just try and make them exactly the same on like on the both side of this engine. So see I'm using blue just to make it better. Just whizzing around, just thinking, oh, what is this? What can be better here? And I'm just going to fill in, fill in, fill in. More filling in, filling in. We need just more filling. So continue filling in, filling in. And just continue filling all over the place. Go crazy. Just go and uh, extend the outline slightly. And just fill in. Just fill, 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 fill. Fill in. Just going to continue filling in. Fill in, fill in more. Um, these, the... This ship is like um, it's supposed to be a battle cruiser. Many people think that battle cruisers are like supposed to be I don't know, hundred thousand mass, but no, this is nothing compared to that. This is uh, some people think that like a light fighter would be like a thousand mass, and I think that's very strange. I tend to think light fighters are like fifty mass, and a regular fighter is a hundred, and like a heavy fighter is like two hundred. So there are lots of different opinions of what mass uh, classifications can be. So I'm just finishing filling in the arc, and um, it goes very quickly, very very quickly with this symmetry. You go in the like, you just do on one quarter of it, then it does on the other side, and then it does on the bottom as well. So it's just easier. Now I fill in the engines with ice crystal. I think ice crystal looks good, and these engines will later be completely changed. Uh, like not completely changed, but I mean they, they they won't be so round. They'll be a more spiky. It'll look so much better because in the beginning I don't find the engines good. So I'm putting more ice crystal here in the nacelles. I think nacelles look good with having ice crystal in them. Um, yeah, I put some blue here because I tend to have blue in my nacelles, not completely, just on the sides of the nacelles, just as the frame holding the blue part up, you'll see what I mean later. I'm starting to fill in the small gaps in the middle part, holding the middle to the engines. Uh, it's not connected to the arc, that's why it's not something I wanted to do. So, uh, I just continue filling in more hole. Uh, this hole is probably, the, the thing is that this hole costs so much. And this hull alone is like, I don't know, 90% of the ship. If you compare to a, a regular ship, usually the hull is 90%, especially you and since it's hard at hull. Maybe regular hull does not cost that much. But anyway, yeah, I'm just continuing filling in the, sh the, the cells. Soon done, or just sort of filling in, because they're gonna be very you know, very altered later. And it's, yeah, I'm very unhappy with the way the front part becomes, as I said before. Like, when you build the outline or something, it becomes like, you think, oh, that looks really good. But then after a while, when you, like, fill it in with hull, then it starts to, like, look very plain. And you think, oh, I need some more, like, ins and outs. And that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to just find some sweet spot, some place where, it, like, it just looks good. And, you know, I'm trying lots of different things here, you see here. I'm trying lots of different things, just trying to make it look good, but it's just, it's just quite hard. So, it really is hard, it takes some skill, but <laughs> I eventually get it done. If you see here, after a few times, I'm just attempting to get something that just looks decent. So here, I'm just thinking, oh yeah, maybe uh, 
the it doesn't need to go like inwards it only should uh, like uh, be curved on the front axis it shouldn't be curved on the side that's why i took away the bits of the side see see where i'm going now i'm just trying to make it more curved on the vertical side not the horizontal side and i think that indian looks a lot better so yeah add some blue um hole just to make it look better uh, more blue hole as the lines. I think I like putting random lines all over the place. They usually look good. like not completely random, but like just slightly random. They usually almost always look good. I put these lines here, but then I later I'm just taken away because I just didn't think they look good. I'm just t just testing little different things here. I was quite satisfied with this, but then later I was thinking, ah, oh, let's change it. So yeah. Uh, I think to extend the cells a little bit because they uh, they look they seem too short in proportion to the parts of the ship. So I uh, add some ice crystal, looking around, you know, what should I do now? And then I uh, extended them further, even further on the back. So I just continued here and I put some more uh, blue hole and uh, white hole and ice crystal and yeah, the end cells were eventually just more or less done when it comes to the filling in part. But then I was thinking, yeah, uh, what will I do now? I'll just Mm, I'll just uh, make it more smooth, and that's what I did uh, uh, on the side. I didn't want it to just be like flat, so I tried to do that. I tried to add some kind of like spike thing here, but it did not turn out so good, so I just took it away. And uh, in the end, I just decided to maybe just make it just a little bit smoother, like by just extending it a few blocks. So I thought that, yeah, that looked good, and I just added some ice crystal, and then I eventually did so on the other side. So as you see here, I'm going to end this uh, part of the video by just building these little flaps on the ends of the wings. Um, they're just going to be some little simple flaps and they're going to look uh, pretty okay. See, I'm just extending them. Uh, there was nothing I planned for, but yeah, they, there was something that just came along. And I just extended it up here, put more here, 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 here. And yeah, that looked good. 